Hey guys, I wanted to make this video because, you know, this is my channel and I get to make videos that I feel like my subscribers will like. Uh, this is a video show. I'm not shy. I am pretty social, but I've not always been that way, right? And in middle school, I guess middle school and freshman year and sophomore year of high school, so my high school was excellent. I would go to a reunion if I didn't have like so much to do all the time. And college was really good too. Uh, college, I had a blast in college. I went to um, a very good college and I went to a very good uh, grad school. Both of these schools, I you know, was the head of my fraternity in college and in, head of my fraternity in grad school. And in college, I, was, I taught 500 students and did tons of orientation group. I was on stage all the time in the, you know, you're in New York City, right? So that's kind of, you have to kind of put yourself out there and find out like who you are. And I'm very glad I went to uh, NYU for college. And then my, my, my grad school is a very top ranked grad school as well. So, and then that fraternity was a GPA based fraternity. So, but, uh, so moving all that like aside, I always, I had a problem like introducing myself to people. I was kind of shy, uh, definitely in freshman, sophomore, and even junior year of high school. I was not the kid who was raising their hand, even if they had a question. I was not the kid who would introduce, like I had a really good set of friends from elementary school. But outside of that, like if I had to introduce myself to someone else, I couldn't do it. It was just very difficult. So what I found as a good tactic um, is some times I'll see a kid in Magic uh, who's you know at F and M and they're not talking to anyone. They've obviously been dropped there by parent, they're, by their parents, and uh, they're just looking at cards. There's a lot of downtime at F and M. There's a tremendous amount of downtime uh, as you know people play entire EDH games, uh, especially the deck I'm playing with right now. It's red deck wins and it's all downtime, right? You either lose really quickly or you win extremely quickly, but I, I've noticed that there are some uh, people who are maybe in middle school, maybe in high school, maybe even in college, it doesn't really matter, this applies for everyone, who have somewhat a, who, I guess, shy, they're just shy people, and that's not, there's nothing wrong with being shy, um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but if you here's some advice I have, how you can, wow, this is so long-winded, how you can, as a shy person, become more social. Talk to the store owners. They have to be friendly to you, or they should be friendly to you, right? I mean, it would be like talking. So my advice to myself back then, uh, in, when I was a freshman in high school and really just awkward beyond belief, would be to go talk to the people at your local game store Go talk to the store owner, the person running Friday Night Magic, the people behind the store counter, and they have to kind of talk to you because they work at the store. So does that make sense that like, if you talk to a random person at the store, they don't have, they're not obligated to talk to you. But if you talk to a store owner, assuming the store owner is good, the Magic guy is good, and or whoever else, is, the employees are good people, then they will talk back to you and they will tell you, oh yeah, I like this deck, I played this video game. And that's like your first, once you, once people see that you're talking to someone, somebody, then they will come talk to you. But when you're like in a corner by yourself, probably near the bathroom, which smells, but whatever, and you're just by yourself, it, people get the assumption that you don't want to socialize with them. And maybe that's true for some people, but maybe that's not true for you. So that would be my best advice for you. I know this was a long winded video. This was such a long video to get to this point. But I think the point is extremely valid that if you, are, if you talk to the store owner, you talk to whoever is there that night at Friday Night Magic, normally not the store owner, but like the magic guy, and then you talk to him, and he kind of has to talk back to you because he works at the store and he's representing the store, assuming that he cares enough about his job or he cares enough about the magic player base. And a lot of people do because um, in my opinion, the magic person is responsible for making a good, the person in charge of Friday Night Magic is responsible for making a fun environment that people want to go to. 
If the environment is not fun, then people are going to stop going. And one of the things I would say is, uh, and another thing I would say, I would, I would just point blank say to, uh, the, especially the newer Magic players or the players who don't know Magic that much and who are shy, so this is a subset of a subset of people, why do you care what people think of you on Friday Night Magic? People, you know, wearing, you know, MTG line, <laughs> I'm wearing this. I mean, like, I I go home and I just, for, like, I when at my current work, I have to dress up. But when I get home, I just, like, take whatever I have and just go, go, just go. And I don't care. Most people don't care what they really look like. Some people don't shower, like, you know, that's a different issue. Some people... Um, are eating fast food and greasy things like why does it care why would you care about what people thought about you at Friday Night Magic if you didn't know and wanted to begin with so that's the attitude that I've since ingrained in my life um, and this is the attitude that this channel has as well is yeah you're gonna have you're gonna have people who don't like you Taylor Swift has people who don't like her, but she is probably the most famous female artist at this time. And there's plenty of people who hate her guts. I personally love her music, and I think she's awesome. And yeah, but at the end of the day, not everyone's going to like you, not everyone's going to be nice to you, but for the people who are going to like you and the people who are going to be nice to you, don't give that opportunity up because you're scared that they won't. You're scared of that other type of person. Because every, I've said this many times, if my channel had 1,000 or 100 subscribers and they all were really involved and really happy and just, you know, enjoyed watching my videos every day, that's it. That's all I need. Um, I don't need anything more than that, right? Bye, guys.